how to update a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server and how to fix could not connect outdated server. As you can see guys, I currently have my Minecraft Bedrock Edition client open here and I've attempted to connect to my server and I've then been greeted with this message which says could not connect outdated server, which basically means there is a new Minecraft Bedrock Edition server update and therefore we also need to update our own server. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just simply X out of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition client here. And as you can see, I currently have the CMD terminal window open here and the window behind it is my Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files here or to the left hand side. The very first thing we need to do before we make any changes to our server is to stop our current server. The command to stop your server is the word stop. So I'm just going to type stop here and then hit enter. Once you have done that guys, the black CMD terminal window will automatically close. And now I'm just going to close out of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files here by hitting the X here and I'll be on my desktop now. Once you're on your desktop, you wanna open up your browser. So I currently have my browser open here and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server slash bedrock. Once you're here guys, you'll be on the download server software alpha for Minecraft. If you want to run a multiplayer server for Minecraft, start by downloading the server release for either Windows or Ubuntu. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And as you can see, on the left hand side here, we have the Windows server software for Windows files here. And on the right hand side here, we have the Ubuntu server software for Ubuntu if you have Linux. So basically guys, what we're going to be doing now is downloading the updated and newly released Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files. You want to download the appropriate server files for your operating system. I'm currently on Windows, so I'm going to be focusing on the left hand side here. So as you can see, it says, Unzip the container file into an empty folder. Start the server by executing the bedrock underscore server dot exe file. Follow the bundled how to guide to configure the server. And lastly, guys, before you hit the download button, you have to agree to the Minecraft end user license agreement and privacy software by hitting this white box here to check mark it. And then the white download box will turn to green, ready for you to hit the download button. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is left click on download. The latest release of Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files will now begin downloading. And I'll be back with you once that's downloaded. All right, guys, that was a relatively quick download. The next thing you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here, left click on this arrow, and left click on show in folder. As you can see guys, in our downloads folder here, we have the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files for 1.16.210, which at the current recording of this video is the latest release of the server for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The next thing I'm going to do guys is extract this file in our downloads folder here. As you can see, currently it's a zip file or a raw file in my case. To extract the contents of the zip file, you're going to need an extractor tool. I like to use WinRAR. And if you would also like to use WinRAR, I'll put a link in the video description to one of my videos of how to download and use WinRAR. I'll also put it at the top right hand corner here of this video as a card for you to easily access. I currently have WinRAR installed, so all I need to do is right click on the zip file that we just downloaded and then left click on extract to bedrock dash server dash 1.16.210.05. So I'm just going to left click on that here and I'll be back with you once our zip file has been extracted. All right guys, to the left of our zip file here is the unzip folder. All I'm going to do now is right click on this unzip folder and I'm going to hit cut. I'm now going to close out of my downloads folder and also close out of my browser here. As you can see, I'm now on my desktop. So all I'm going to do now is right click on my desktop and hit paste. Great guys, as you can see on my desktop now, we have our previous files for our Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. And on the right hand side here, we have our newly downloaded latest release for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So what we're going to need to do now is transfer and replace the old Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files with the latest release files that we just downloaded. To do this, I'm just going to open up my old Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files here so by double clicking on the folder. And then I'm just going to hit the restore down button here at the top right hand corner so I can still see my desktop. I'm just going to adjust it here real quick. And now I'm going to open the newly released, freshly extracted folder of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files. So I'm just going to double click on this here and another window will open. I'm just going to drag this to the right. And again, I'm going to adjust it. And all I'm going to do now 
is copy the new files by highlighting them all here and then right clicking on it and then left click on cut. Once you've done that guys, you wanna paste that into your old Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files. So all I'm going to do here is right click in that folder and then left click on paste. Once you have done that guys, the files will begin transferring and then you'll be greeted with this little notification which says replace or skip files, moving 3,291 items from the newly released Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files to your old Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files. You have the option to replace the files in the destination, skip these files or let me decide for each file. All you're going to do guys is left click on replace the files in the destination. Once you have done that guys, all the old files will be replaced by the new Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files. I'll be back with you guys once the server files have been replaced and transferred. All right guys, the transfer has completed. If we look to the folder on the right hand side here, you can see that the folder is empty, meaning that all the contents of that folder have been transferred and have replaced our old server files. Great guys, so now we can just close out of the empty folder here as we no longer need it. And I'm just going to quickly maximize our folder, which now contains all the newly released updated server files for our server. The next thing we need to do before we run our server is update the server.properties file with the level name of our server. To find the level name of your server, all you simply need to do is go to the worlds folder here by double clicking on it and then you should see your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server world name which in my case is called Websplaining. Once you've noted the name of your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server, all you need to do is go back here and then find the server.properties file, which is right here. And all I'm going to do is double click on it here. Once you've done that, guys, it will ask you, how do you want to open this file? So we're going to need to select a text editor and I'm going to be using Notepad here. So I'm going to on check mark, always use this app to open .properties file first. And then I'm going to left click on the notepad and then I'm going to left click on OK. And there we go, guys. If we look to the left hand side here, our server.properties file has opened in notepad. And all I'm going to do now is left click on maximize here. And now I'm just going to search for level name. All right, guys, I found level name here. And as you can see, it currently says level dash name equals bedrock level. What we need to do here is change the level name to websplaining for a bedrock. So all I'm going to do now is delete bedrock level here. And then I'm going to type websplaining, which is the name of our Minecraft Bedrock Edition server world. Once you've updated the level name, all you need to do is navigate to the top left hand corner here to file and then left click on save. Once you've done that guys, you can close out of the server.properties file. Great, all that's left to do now is to run our server. To do this, you need to find the bedrock underscore server.exe file here and double click on it. Once you have done that guys, the CMD terminal window will open and your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server will then begin starting. As you can see guys, our websplaining server has started and you've been given four ports here, two IVP4s and two IPv6s. So you can use any of these to connect to your server. All I'm going to do now guys is to minimize our CMD terminal window here. Make sure you don't close out of it, otherwise your server will stop. And now I'm just going to close it out of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server files folder here. And all I'm going to do now is open up the Minecraft Bedrock Edition client here by double clicking on it. All right guys, once your Minecraft Bedrock Rock Edition server client has opened, you're ready to connect to your server. I'm just going to quickly mute the volume of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition client here as it's quite distracting. So I'm just going to do that real quickly here. So to connect to your newly updated server, all you need to do is left click on play here. And then at the very top here, you want to left click on the server tab here and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom here where it says add server. Just left click on that. Type your server's name here. So in my case, it's websplaining. For the server address, you need to enter in your server's IP address or domain name to connect if you have one. In my case, guys, I'm self-hosting the server on my local device. And therefore, all I need to type in here is localhost. And then for the port, guys, I'm going to be using the IPv6 port. So if I remember correctly, the IPv6 port here will be 19133. I'm just going to double check it here. There's two of them, but I'm going to select the first IPv6 port here, which is 19133. You can select the one that works for you. So I'm just going to change the two to a three here. And then all I'm going to do is left click on save. Once you've hit save, guys, scroll all the way down to where it says additional servers and find your world. So in my case, it's Websplain. 
sliding, all I'm going to do is left click on it here and then left click on join server. You'll then be taken into your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. And there we go guys, we have successfully been able to connect to our server. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to update Minecraft Bedrock Edition server and how to fix could not connect outdated server for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so